Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the number shape technique. It is a fairly simple technique that can help you improve your recall. It does not take much effort and you can start using it right after watching this video. Let me tell you a little bit more about this technique. The number shape is very intuitive for the brain and it is fun. Using it is like finding shapes in clouds, what we all have done when we were kids. So how does it work? The principle is that you associate the digits with things that they look like and then you use this list of things as specs for remembering facts or item lists. For example, the digit 2 looks like swan and therefore 2 is associated with swan. Now if you want to remember a fact, you can associate it with the image of swan. I will talk in more detail about the application of the number shape technique later in this video. But first let's go through the digits 0 to 10 and the number shape pegs associated with them. Remember the keyword here is looks like as in what does the number or digit looks like. 0 looks like tire so the digit 0 is associated with the image of tire in your head. one looks like candle so the digit one is associated with candle two looks like swan the neck of swan three looks like a handcuff an opened handcuff Four looks like sail, sail of a boat. So you can watch the cursor and you can see the shape of four inside the sail of the boat. And this is the association. So four looks like the sail of a boat. Five looks like hook, hook of a crane. Let me trace uh, the 5 in this image of crane hook for you. Can you see the 5? So this is the link between the digit 5 and the word hook. 6 looks like smoking pipe. 7 looks like spade so an agricultural equipment that is used in uh, farms for tilling soil so seven is associated with spade eight looks like hourglass and nine looks like flag so 9 looks like flag so 9 is associated with the word flag or in other words the peg associated with the number or digit 9 is flag. The number 10 looks like a fork next to a plate. So the peg for number 10 is fork and plate. Let's go through it one more time. Now in the reverse. 10 looks like fork and plate. 9 looks like flag. 8 looks like hourglass. 7 looks like spade. 6 looks like and therefore is associated with smoking pipe 5 looks like the hook of a crane 
4 looks like sail 3 looks like handcuff or in other words handcuff is the peg for the digit 3 the number 2 looks like the neck of a swan and the number 1 is associated with candle one looks like candle and finally zero looks like tire zero is associated with the image of tire and tire is the peg for the digit zero now you try it let's see if you can recall so zero is tire one looks like two looks like three looks like yes it looks like handcuff four looks like five looks like yes hook six looks like seven looks like eight looks like yes hourglass nine looks like and finally ten looks like yes four can play okay by now I hope that you already have all the number shape pegs in your head for digits 0 to 10 if you feel like replacing any peg with a different one so that it makes more sense to you just feel free to do so before ending this video I would like to demonstrate how you can use the number shape technique to remember a list of facts I have here a list of important events in the last uh, five years important scientific events from the year year 2010 to 2014 so the question now is how to memorize this list of events using the number shape technique the first event is oil spill in Mexico this is how I will do it this is how I will imagine it in my head so the oil spill in Mexico happened in 2010 I'm going to associate this event with the digit 0 and thereby the peg tire so now in my head I'm wondering that because of the oil spill the tire business which depends on crude oil might have been impacted and there is the connection between the oil spill and the tire so when I recall and when I go through my list of pegs I would be able to recall that tire is associated with the Gulf oil spill and therefore in 2010 uh, there was the oil spill in Mexico second event is the earthquake in Japan that led to Fukushima nuclear disaster that happened in 2011 the peg to be used is candle now I'm wondering that because of the Fukushima disaster many houses without electricity around the destroyed nuclear power plant might have needed to use candles in the evening and there is the link between the nuclear disaster and the candle and therefore the digit 1 which links to the year 2011 now you might have noticed that I'm using a scheme in making the associations I call it logically wondering the impact logically wondering the impact so if an event happens what can logically happen due to it I just ask myself this question let my mind wander and then come up with something some explanation that links with the peg so for example uh, we just talked about 2010 and the uh, Gulf of Mexico oil spill in Gulf of Mexico we 
what happened due to it because of oil spill it might be that the entire business in the nearby countries would have suffered so that was the association that I was using there are several other ways of associating I will talk more about it in a future video you can have your own way of associating the event with the peg and thereby with the digit so you give a try now it's your turn for the years 2012 and 2013 in 2012 the event was that NASA's Curiosity rover landed on Mars and for 2013 the event was the scientific event was that uh, two scientists received Nobel Prize for the discovery of the God particle so give it a try try to form a connection and see if you can uh, link these two events to the years the last event on the list is uh, the one in 2014 that uh, Rosetta missions Philip probe lands on the comet I will demonstrate how I'm going to associate it. I'm wondering in my head that because of the successful landing on the comet, the scientists must have felt like explorers. The scientists that were involved in the design and launch of that project, they must have felt like they were explorers sailing to uncharted territories on their boat with the sail. So there is the link between uh, the digit four and the sail and the Rosetta mission well that's all for now I hope you like this video if you have any suggestions or comments feel free to post them in the comment section below and for more similar videos please subscribe to my channel ideas in progress thank you and see you in next video